Operation Asha is addressing a very big problem, that of tuberculosis. Now, TB is not an ancient disease anymore, though it's as old as the pharaohs. It's a worldwide disaster. There are 9 million new cases in the world each year. Unfortunately, one-fourth are in India. The loss of wages in our country alone is an unbelievable $300 million a year. And it is estimated that the world will lose more than $4 trillion in the next decade because of tuberculosis. TB patients suffer many problems because of existing gaps in the public infrastructure. The tribal areas are far away from the city limits. Imagine if these people had to go three times a week to the nearest dot center. These are the centers where the patients have to go day after day and swallow the medicine in the presence of a provider. If the patients have to go for six months, and these centers are, say, 10 miles away, uh, open the business hours, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., what are people to do? They have to choose between food for the family on one hand and TB treatment on the other. They just don't go for treatment. And even if they go for treatment, they leave when they start feeling better. That's how default and drug-resistant TB sets in. So what Operation Asha has done is to take TB treatment to the doorsteps of the disadvantaged so no one has to miss work and wages in order to get the medication. We have hired people from the disadvantaged areas as our DOTS providers. And in their backpack, they have the strips of medicines for the patients, the TB treatment cards, which have to be filled for the government. They also carry e-compliance, the technology device. And this device is for fingerprinting. So for every dose taken, the fingerprint has to be taken as proof of visit. Everyone talks of technology, but very often technology is just made in a fancy lab and dumped on the disadvantaged and it doesn't work. And I'm proud to say that our technology has been made keeping in mind the needs of the people. Their cultural perceptions, even their cognitive abilities have been kept in mind. The urban model is very different from the rural model because patients are densely packed in an area where there is a huge population and there could be more than 100 patients in one particular slum. So what we do here is we establish dot centers in the premises of community partners. This partner could be a shopkeeper, it could be a housewife, any place that exists there in the community itself and is open early morning and late night. Again, there is no one who needs to take a bus and everything is done at their convenience. My vision is of a TB-free world. It's a curable disease and no one need die of TB. There is untold misery, there's untold suffering because of this curable disease and it's a shame that we've allowed it to happen. How I visualize it is not just Operation Asha working, but a group of other people, like-minded, dedicated people from the government, from the Global Fund, from the WHO, professors, NGOs, all joining hands. It's a war we are fighting, a war against disease, and we cannot do it alone.